Vorse trying to take down this bottom tier two at the same time. The side of uh, Burn, they want to go in onto Suneco. He has got that Glimmer Cape, but they got any detection. It doesn't look like they do. No, they did. They had dust. But he just didn't pop didn't it. Pop oh, it. No, now they're going to look for Suneco again. There's going to be trouble oh, down. He's going to have the Cold Embrace. He's going to protect you up against the Rocket Barrage. The homing missile flying through as well. And now it finishes. They do bring down Suneco on the Winter Wyvern. Bottom lane low. Phonic and her Vorse looking to force back the side of Bernie Knight. Oh, they push the Dream Coil. Oh, my goodness. Is this really happening? They do still have the TP on Come With Me and Sing Sing. But Come With Me gets hexed up. He can't TP back. Sing Sing will be able to TP out. And what the defense is just not there. Sing Sing's on his own here defending the base. Now Paris comes in as well. And they have got Necroman finally back here. But they've lost the bottom melee racks. They will be able to bring down a boss here as well. But Na'Vi there sneaking the melee racks away from the side of Burden United. A very nice control. Keeping Burden, or well, the majority of them, from TPing back initially. I've seen this exact there. smoke. Uh oh, <laughs> here's a new item though, guys. It's the MKB coming out. They go on Ice Mike off the bat. Not the ideal here to start on. Gets up the Ravage. And now BSJ, probably his own BKB, just wants to get away from the Shadow Fiend who lays into him hot and heavy. But Demon's there with the counter initiation. Gets the veil. The full MP. Crop full one. Crop full two. Can she give up? Still tanking through this with the Satanic. A charge on forward. Find BSJ. The seal bomb's going. Full duration. But not enough. They all survive. How did they do it? Trevor. Kill for Kajikama, they're going ape shit right here. Another tier one, and that's going to bring you very close, if not over. Indeed, 10k net worth for 18 minutes and on your jug. Mid lane, they're going to go in onto Jonas on fan here with the ult from Suneco. Disruption holding in position, there is an Earthshaker. Fisher coming out, but now Dendi, he's arrived to the side of Na'Vi, straight onto Jonas and fan. He's trying to walk himself. Aerith turning up with the Razors, they brought down the Undying, and now Dendi's actually got to get back himself back up. Bristleback's brought low, but he isn't popped over the edge. Error, now with a hay stream, zooming about. Get away from the Tombstone, you Fools! Then he's gonna go back in. His man is being topped up. He's ready to go in. And Forced has picked off the bristle bat. And now he's gonna look for more. Dent, he's zipping straight. And look at these huge slows on the wall. But the tech is very nicey. Oh, look at this! What? There's an ultra. It might be a rampage for a Forced. He looks for Limp. Limp denies him the rampage. Up to the high ground. Funnick is there. And, and I think. Him. Has he got the, he's got the shuriken. Is he, can he not get in range here? The shuriken. No, he's got to be in range. Oh no, oh, no it's actually nine. very small. Yeah. Possibly looking for a resolution or something. There's your hookshot indeed onto resolution. Can they get themselves in yet yeah, with the mystic flare? Sorry, we'll buy resolution sometime. But it won't be enough to keep him alive. That's going to be one hero down. But this time, can we see Empire go again for reinitiation? Cooldown catches the Ruby and the Clock Clock with the Shadow Amulet. Is it going to protect you against the scream from the Queen of Pain? Dragon Tail into Silent Lucid Beam as well. And now in comes Luna with the ultimate. They have managed to find the kill onto the Gyro as well. It's a two for two trade so far. And now Aloha does. He is all on his own here. Maybe he goes down as well. No, he's got the Tombstone and the back of Vivar with the Sonic Wave. Triple kill for Aloha does. He's going to find more. Slavi goes down as well. It's an old. Ultra kill. And the rock is scouting out the fact that Sion as well as a lot of our deaths is the free line. I don't know if they actually know Yoki's position, however. He could lock him underneath this town. In fact, Cowardly's going to walk up this so close, and now they'll see each other. The bridge will lock Cowardly in. The cooldown means they can't bring the support. In fact, Sasha, he will jump in. The cops will relocate. It pulls him out just in time. Yoki's going to end up going down. Seems he's in the front line, covering the entire rocket barrage. With also Resolution starting up the door spray, and now it's Burden United. They're being overpowered by Team Empire with a triple kill for Resolution. Looking for the Ultra, and there it is, killing off the Dragon Knight. Clockwork is on. Oh, he's gonna get the ramp. Alive, and it's a full rampage. Clockwork sitting back on the tree line. Oh, the side of Navi here with the smoke up. Phobos is ready though. He's waiting for room. Yeah, it looks like Phobos might dispel it in and certainly will last time. Phobos see him as he goes down to the low ground. That's gonna give them time to throw down the soul catch and a bit of shadow poison down. He's going now in. he's going in. He's maybe looking for the potential oh, supernova. And there we go. There's a disruption onto oh. the shadow demon, but he's only holding himself in place. The massive sonic wave coming through. They've taken down two, with G getting himself a killing spree. The rest of the side of Na'Vi will back off Havos. He's got himself in it all. Oh my god. Does he go for the, the play here? Of his life. Is this going to be the play? Havos. They are two men down the side of Na'Vi. Does Havos want to try and go for this one? He's going to hang around in the pit for a little bit. They found Funnick though. Funnick was looking for a hookshot, but they've lost Funnick now. Now he's just Havos and Dendi alive on the pitch. He, he's got to go for it's the Invis rune. How long is the Invis rune left for? It's, he's got a little bit of time here. He has time. He has time. But he's going for a kill. Oh, look at this! Look at this! And everything that blew up! Double kill for a boss! They've taken three heroes down the side of VP. FNG goes up to the high ground here. G for the oh. high ground. He's out to boss. There's a disruption onto your quad. Her boss is still alive. G's going to get taken down on the cliff. Oh Four heroes God. fall off the side of VP. FNG is able to TP himself out, but her boss there with the blaze.
But a good fight here for Seeker could lead to Rax, and then a fall back towards the Roach, but the jump in comes from Universe. Onto Puppy bumps him towards the base, and a Death War coming out from PPE. Annihilates with the split earth on top of it. Double kill for Sumail, double kill for Fear, and quickly four from Secret hit the deck. Wow, that was one of the best initiations I've ever seen by Universe. He hook shot into the Dazzle. He cogs the other two heroes. IG won't wait for anything, it looks like. 430 is looking to move in. They, I believe, I thought they smoked this, maybe not. And they're swinging around, but while they're doing that, Bernie's getting caught in the mid lane. Quickly dealt with, finished off by a Knight's MKB crap there as Arteezy will close him out. Now the back connects on several, Arteezy does get stunned. Burning buff back and re-engages 430, trying to finish him off. He's got no armor. not tanky enough. No, he is. He gets off the Satanic and they can't finish him. Dribble, make it an ultra. Artor unstoppable. That invoker dead for a hundred. And Burning left to do it alone. Hunts on the puppy. A couple more hours. Can he finish off Arteezy? BKB activated, but he's chunking him down. And oh, in the fight. It's a rampage. That's first blood. Yeah, this call was so good. Unless he has bottle charges. He Legion does. coming he does. in. That's yeah, comes to do all. Uh, all right. Well, first blood goes to FC Mel. He wants a second. It's Big Daddy who's taking heavy, heavy hits. Gets the jewel off, but the kill comes out from the Flame Guard. And both Seven and Eternal Envy, both low. Nice totem from PPD. Catches out two, and with Fear's rotation, it looks like C9 gonna get overrun top lane. They've lost three for one, and oh. AUI, okay. Envy says, I'll take the extra, but. Oh, uh, oh he's trapped. No, no, oh. wow. Oh, oh. Are Fear, you kidding gonna me? Blink anything? Here comes backup. It's Wiz, oh, and the Fissure misses. Oh my gosh, and Fast has come back as well. PPD is trapped. Wow. What Disaster a strikes. Godlike play by Envy. That's the first time I saw the man burning. So the man fight, he's just got a brand new shiny BKB and a very warm welcome from Burning. This might be the big turnaround in this game. <laughs> burning, web of her, monster kill for the monster, um, the monster, Battle Blaster, how? Dropping low, vacuum, and oh, wow! That drunk from LeBron. Echo Slam dealing pretty much damage. Four melted down for IT, now slow down with the purge. Furry for Burning. A cyclone, where you gonna go get back here, Ferrari? You are not on your Ferrari today. <laughs> Super, smoke spray. Universe goes in some of Sumail's. Sumail's going down, but I say so he's in trouble, even under the tower. They will bring down the Templar Assassin Universe. He four steps away. It's now Fear trying to finish off Super, and he might be able to do it. Dink goes the rocket, but Fear out of mana on the run. A swap from Fenrir. He's tracked up, stunned up as well, but a ravage coming out of the lion. Oh! God, it's the Radiant getting cleaned up again. Living Armor keeps Fear alive. And they turn it around. Now the Overgrowth on Super. He'll try to TP home, but there's a Battery Assault. Universe is there. It's a one for four. They kill Sumail, but it comes at quite the cost. He has really been stepping it up when it mattered the most in this game. And now he's got a much easier time performing his task. Oh, tasks. oh, oh no, 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 I grabbed the for not being there. Just going to drop everything right on their head. It is absolute chaotic destruction for them. Unfortunate timing. Epi cleanup. Oh, it's man. Over. The ship has Stop. sunk. The ward's going to end up being a little bit of a false sense of security. And Dying's doing his best to push in the wave, but he's pretty dismal at it. Miracles. But they've got two heroes back behind. Miracle, a level five. Yes, yeah, level four. Do they have any TPs that can come in? None of the Earthshaker. Nyx Assassin does have one available. Ooh. to pain those as well. That's a huge one. Yeah. Swap definitely the TP that they're going to be looking for here if the best game kill. The player steals them. In oh. comes the dive. They go looking for it. The blood right is going to silence them up. It prevents any further initiation but can't. Just to be brought down. Miracle is still fairly healthy. He's got 10 stick charges. Hasn't been forced to pop them just yet. Goes for them now. Will be right click down. Chibix has already invested the point, so he's stuck here fighting. Just going to throw up a lot of attacks, but the heal comes in from the undying. And it's an ultra kill for the storm. Rampage for the storm. Seven minutes into the game. That's definitely changed. Here we are. Vega ready to try and pull the upset here in game two. They dropped game one. Want to walk away with the split? It's going to be an RP! Best RP of the game! Brings it back into the static storm, and the follow up is finally there for Nob. Oh my god, he got the second one! There's the cooldown! The Rapier is going in four dead! They want no one to help! They're going to find him, too! The Shadow beats down! And five heroes dead through the ages! They're looking to bring back down another.
same time. Look at him as the well. Jesus Dizzy caps it with the best RPs we've seen all game. Again, a blink back to Rior, maybe not the storm. KP has game. Omelet now, so he's ready to fight another two Euro vision. There's no chain stuff to follow this one up. They're gonna. Crimson got up and looked to fight the death one in the back lines from the Witch Doctor doing some good damage, but being blocked largely. So they wave through Q World. Oh, but now, and Rave get blowing up. KP in the front lines with a BKB Mask of Madness. Tears apart. Rave is the buyback here. Oh, blink and it goes for Rio. Oh, Fisher as well. Holy oh, cow! God. That fight was completely lost by Rave, but Rio completely turning it around. It's gonna raise up the wave, but it comes to the Fusal Blade potentially. Now they hex Kachik, but they focus in the Burrow Cut too. Mushi as well as Johnny come down to the fight, they beat down the Shadow Bean, they kill him off. That's the buyback dead for a hundred seconds, but no! The RP from Ohio wins the follow from the desert! And everyone! The Knights are beginning! The Welk of the Omni Clans have a ninja dead! Four balls! Might be fine, bro, and this fight goes down as well! It's an ultra for KYXY! Malaysia clean house! Oh my goodness! May keep him alive long enough to function in a similar fashion. You know, pressing in, there's the search forward from Gunner, he gets up the back, it's a really nice one! c deck starting to clean up, pressing it down, Rubik down with the corner, surviving to the water! Oh, what an echo, it's the Lamb Shaker again! Three heroes and the DK as well, it's a team wipe! This is a lot of bonus gold that four anchors could look to potentially clean up. We'll see more and more spam eviscerating the creep wave. There will be a fissure on Balix. Death Ward going through the call down as well. Everything's more by some mess. And now, the RP, they found him all! 4 ASC looking for the Great Massacre in the radiant side of the map. There is an Echo trying to turn it. Counter Death Ward there as well. Four anchors running rough shot over Birdie United. Four dead. About to be five. It's a team fight. Oh, oh here we go. Now this. things are going to get interesting real quickly. XC walks in. He did not get off the spell. They quickly drop the card on and connect some for the best two hits. Everyone, they try to turn this no guarder going in. He gets best again. He can't fight his way out of it. Now it's aggressive trying to hold his guard. They got off the tombstone though. This could be the big one that turns it. Again, the bash is Shiki getting smacked around like a ragdoll. And the two. They are shackled from air. What a fantastic initiation or follow up, I should say. Aggressive. He heads to the south. Shiki getting still lobbed around. First he's bashed, now aggressive arm with toggling, may actually survive this. Not sure if Shiki will be so lucky. The charge comes through, another bash as a result of that charge. They get the team wipe. They turned that smoke into the Roshan, which is nice enough, oh, wait, but he has wait, it completed. Wait. What? The Radiant got the kill somehow. What the hell happened? Was that a flare snap on Roshan? I have never seen that before. What? Ever. Wow, okay. So that's... That's not supposed to happen. Flare does not do that much damage. He only had two points in it. Maybe three when he threw that out. 160 damage mitigated by Roshan's magic resist. That's absurd.